Welcome back YouTube. Uh, we're gonna do some plow work today. Um, this is my plow here, and this front one is my wife's cousin's. Uh, we're gonna clean them up and paint them up here uh, over the New Year's weekend. And so we got, we're getting started cleaning them up. We're not gonna strip them down to bare metal and sandblast them or nothing, but a nice enough job so that we can paint them all right and uh, go from there. But no, there'll probably be some time lapse in here and whatnot, but uh, I hope you enjoy. All right, guys, um, I apologize for not getting any of the rest of that plow painting on video. My battery died and we had kind of a short timeline to get everything done. Um, so we finished that up, uh, I think the like New Year's weekend. Um, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like now. I still have to finish painting the coulters and get them put back on, but otherwise the rest of it's all done. Uh, it is the end of February right now and it doesn't look like it but uh i went to bed on wednesday night and the forecast was two to or what was it it was 11 to 14 inches of snow or something like that on on thursday night when i woke up friday morning sorry when i woke up thursday morning it was uh one to three inches and we didn't get a single snowflake so i don't know how they blow the weather prediction that bad um, but they did and so we've got absolutely no snow uh, the last couple weeks it's been in the 50s and 60s uh, and it's supposed to be pretty nice here in the next couple weeks as well um, I was looking forward to the snow but now that it didn't come I'm kind of glad because uh, I can get some more stuff done around the yard and uh, it's not so ungodly cold I think it's like 45 or something like that right now um, I don't think winter is over I think we're gonna have some some snow yet um, but we are loading up the snowmobiles, I guess, and going down south um, because they did still get quite a bit of snow um, down around the interstate, down closer to Sioux Falls and stuff. And so we're going to head south and see if we can't find some snow tomorrow to play around in. Um, but anyways, yeah, it's been uncharacteristically nice uh, for this time of year. Um, there was a couple, a couple days in the last few weeks where I was outside working in a t-shirt. Uh, that doesn't seem right for February, but... Not a thing I can do about it. So without further ado, we'll show you the rest of the plow. And while I walk over there, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the tractor as well. Um, this wouldn't have showed up in any of my videos because it was during my lapse period there. But um, the hydraulics quit working on my tractor. I had a cylinder that blew the seal out completely. Took the cylinder off, took it into work. It took me about a month to get it rebuilt just because I was busy with other stuff and I didn't really need the tractor. Um, but we got it rebuilt, put it back on the tractor, and I had no hydraulics. Um, my first thought was the pump was shot, but, uh, to me, it doesn't make sense for a pump to just quit working like that. I checked my engine oil level and there was no hydraulic oil in the engine oil. So I knew that the seal was good on the pump. Um, and there's no way to, it's solid steel lines from the pump back to the, the tank. And so there's no way to take the suction line on or take the, the pressure line off and leave the suction line on because they're, they're tied together. And so I couldn't take the suction line off to see if the, the pump was actually pumping any oil. Uh, so I started the tractor up, ran it outside. At this point, I was pretty frustrated. I was about ready to take the pump off. Um, took, put the tractor outside, and this was when it was nice and warm out. And I ran it at half throttle for about half an hour. And uh, I yanked on the lever, and I heard a popping noise, and then all of a sudden the hydraulics worked. So my theory, and I have no way of proving if this is correct or not, but my theory is that there was some water in that oil. And when, when I lost so much oil because of the 
um, the cylinder leaking, that water got in some place where it shouldn't have and uh, froze when it got so cold and then uh, it was blocking the flow and I think letting the tractor run and get warm um, caused that ice to melt and that's what that's what allowed it to work so anyways it's back to working condition everything is good there so now we got the plow and I apologize for the crappy lighting uh, you'll see more of it uh, when spring comes around I'll pull it out and uh, finish putting the coulters and stuff on it but uh, we got everything all painted up um, I think it looks great. Uh, we did brush paint it. We slapped it on really thick. And so if you look at it close, there's a lot of runs and stuff like that. But from, you know, four or five feet away, you can't even see that. And uh, I've got some touch-up stuff to do here and there where the levers were in, in different spots. And I'll just take a spray can and do that touch-up. I got the decals put on when it was nice in the last few weeks. And uh, we cleaned up the bottoms best we could and sprayed them with uh, slip paint or uh, what do they call it? It's basically a paint for like disc blades and plowshares and and uh, it's a really thin black paint. It keeps everything from rusting but it also wears off really quickly when you get the plow in the soil. Um, and then I painted the black, the back side of them with just plain black paint. So anyways I'm glad that was done. Um, I was really looking forward to having it done and I think it looks awesome. Uh, I can't wait to get the tractor out this spring and get everything kind of tuned up on it. I was having some issues with it last summer not running. Uh, get everything tuned up on it, get the two hooked together, and see what they can do. Uh, I am a little nervous about whether or not this tractor can pull this plow. It should be able to. Uh, it would have been able to back in the 40s, but uh, the soil is more compact now with bigger equipment and everything, and so we'll see. Maybe it won't, maybe it will. Um, the 300 will pull it, so I do have a tractor that will pull it, uh, if nothing else, but I would really love to put it behind the bee. Um, so anyways, thanks for watching guys. Please leave a like, share, subscribe, and check back for more.